hello. Oh, it's a lovely day. It's September and it's like summer and I'm sitting in the garden in London and I spent the last two days um, mudlarking, skylarking really, I suppose, on the on the bank of the River Thames at low tide. I'm not really a mudlark. I mean, I'm not a mudlark. You have to, there's very few of those, and I, you, but you are allowed to go on the bank at certain times, um, low tide and in certain places. And if you find anything, I've been looking for these lovely um, little fragments of um, pipe. These ones have been in the silt, so they've got absorbed sort of lovely grey, bluey swirls. And then there's lots of um, white ones as well. These are a little creamy because I've been soaking in bleach. So I've come home, it's a lovely day, sitting in the garden. I've got a big bowl of water, which I have put, I've washed them all in soapy water and um, scrubbed them with a scrubbing brush. And then I've rinsed them all off and then I've soaked them in, this is Milton, baby sterilising fluid, because it's easy to use on your hands and it's really, really good. And then what I've been doing is uh, taking them and poking them out with a cocktail stick in, in a bucket of water, a little bucket of water, which my daughter brought back from Thailand, one of those funny old beach parties they like to go on. I think it was full of vodka and fruit trees. God, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, those are the days. So, I clean them out, and then what I do then is I stick them in another solution of Milton and shake it up, shake it up every now and again to get the fluid through the centres to be absolutely certain there's no river silt in them. This is... Um, just because they need a jolly good clean because they've been there for hundreds of years. Some of them have been there from the 1600s. I found one and it had Thames stamped on the side of it. Um, I've picked up all sorts of other things as well. Bits of handmade nails. Um, lots of the ends of clay pipes which are quite pretty and might work in. The idea is to work it all into, into my jewellery. Um, oyster shells, abundance of oyster shells. Beautiful kind of crinkly surface with lovely dark insides, they're completely different to the oyster shells that we get nowadays. And I was reading about them and they said that the crinkly ones were when they started to be produced on the Thames. The Thames was a lot cleaner then. Um, and that the flatter ones like this are from Roman times. And they are quite different. Um, and they, But they're all beautiful. And of course you know you've got the pearly kings and queens and mother of pearl buttons. And you've got lots and lots of people eating oysters because it was like the fish and chips of everyday life for everybody. And then I've been finding chunks of bits of mother of pearl, quite, you know, hefty bits, which will make beautiful additions in jewellery. Um, and I've been cleaning them off. Some of them come already with a little hole drilled in. Now, whether that's been done by a creature of the river or the sea, because these probably have been brought these are some of them are big lumps of um, mother of pearl and it looks as if they've been chopped into little pieces you can see quite a few drill holes as if they've been drilled and then ha drilling out buttons or bits to make buttons so I'm thinking um, the pearly <coughs> excuse me pearly kings and queens <coughs> how about that isn't that lovely it's all kind of rough on one side and then completely pearly on the other. So I also got hold of um, some of these uh, little dental things which are quite useful for <clears throat> pushing out the silt because if they don't go all the way through that one is because they get quite dirty they don't go all the way through that's when I take a cocktail stick and poke it through the other end and then everything comes out. So I, I'm doing this on every single one because I don't want there to be any danger <clears throat> of um, riverborne diseases. But I tell you, they're sticking, soaking in um, Milton for it says 15 minutes, but it'll be more like 15 hours, knowing me. Because once upon a time, many years ago, I actually was one of those unlucky people who contracted leptospirosis, which is the 
the disease we're talking about, oh, it's often called vial syndrome, and it's from the urine of rats, and of course on the river, rats like mice just urinate all the time, and you know people do actually die of it. So it's a very thing. It's a very thing you've got to take seriously. So I would advise wearing rubber gloves. Um, I don't because I don't really like rubber gloves, but I do have that gel thing that you put on your hands which is like a really good disinfectant antiseptic and then I make sure I don't touch anything that I'm going to eat don't touch my face I'm very vigilant and then go and wash thoroughly and scrub nails thoroughly and then the whole thing then is to come back and clean every piece meticulously because they are so beautiful I mean they are just absolutely lovely beautiful tiny little swirly bits you get in them and the patterns are so sweet and I know that they're going to make beautiful additions to those squeezed paper beads that we were making before. So I've also been finding little bits of pottery, not that I can find any here, and a few pieces of um, kind of iridescent glass. So I'm really looking forward to adding them to necklaces, earrings and bracelets and to setting them into bangles. Really keen on making the bangles with you know mod rock and paper clay around a yogurt pot and then embedding things in and gilding and resining and can't wait. It's so exciting. So I'm going to spend the next few days exploring different parts of London. I think I'd quite like to go and see what the Isle of Dogs is like. I have never been, but there used to be a lot of dockyards up there. Well, there still is. It's probably completely 21st century now, but it will be nice to go on a day like this. There's not a cloud in the sky. And see what can be found. And then the other fun thing is to come home and Google things and find out if certain shaped pipes, because I found quite a few of the pipe heads too, one of them with beautiful... Um, impressions in from going in a mould um, with the lion's rampant and the shield, a shield of some London something or other on it and I shall you know, research that and find out what it is. So it is such an exciting adventure. Every day is an adventure. It's fantastic. So whenever you get to watch this little video, whatever time of the year, whatever time of the day, wh whatever part of the world you're in, I'd like you to be heartened to go out and see what you can make that's beautiful from things that people throw away. It is a big adventure. Toodaloo for now. Bye.